Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 6 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. And the mystery of the surprise is uncovered. I thought long and hard if I have to make myself the main bridge or if it was better to buy one because it will be one of the main views of this year village. But when I spotted online this bridge, a stone bridge, perfectly suitable for the historical period of the village, I had no more doubts. By the way, the original bridge is a stone bridge. This one is a foam bridge, but it is identical to a viaduct near Marseille in South France. Let's go ahead with the shaping of the waterfall and all the rest I will be able to show you before ending this video. No more planning. All the five sections are now back in place where they belong. Let's have this final test with the paintings and the waterproofing both done. Okay, the water flow is uh, once again stable. The lake isn't filling up too quickly and the main container isn't emptying too quickly. So it's stable. The pump is doing correctly its work. The pump in the main container also. I don't think I have any leakings anywhere. Let's go and have a check around. But I don't think we have any leakings at all. No leakings anywhere, I think. No leakings here. Let's have a look near the waterfall. Here we don't have any leakings absolutely no leakings and even on the waterfall I have no leakings the water is flowing down correctly through the water source and all the mini lakes and the riverbed seems perfectly waterproofed. As you can see the water is flowing correctly into the uh, river. Okay, that's the final test I think. I don't have any water leaking there or there. Sorry, you haven't seen no leaking water here or spilling water here not even there okay no water is leaking from anywhere i think this time it's the uh, good time
As always, I let the glue dry for 8 hours. Now the river, the waterfall and the waterfall source are well glued together. And in the meantime, I've printed out some uh, pictures to add to my lake. I've printed out a bottom of a lake with some rocks and some algae and I applied it to the uh, plywood. And uh, all around the border of the panels I've applied some uh, vegetations I printed on paper, on a high resolution paper. Just a quick fix, uh, uh, avoiding to have uh, nothing on the bottom of the lake because the water will surely be transparent and I don't want uh, the uh, wood to be seen. Yes, I've sculpted the waterfall. Yes, I've shaped the waterfall. But I will not paint it anymore. If you have seen one of my past villages, you may have noticed that I massively use some kind of paper to wrap almost everything. More precisely, I use this kind of uh, paper. It is uh, frequently found almost uh, everywhere during the Christmas season uh, in Italy and in France. Mm, it is called in Italy uh, carta roccia, in France uh, papier roche, and I can literally translate it as uh, uh, paper rock. And sincerely, I have searched it on uh, UK or US marketplaces, but I haven't found it. Uh, it may be understandable why I haven't seen anyone from uh, UK or US or South America and so on use it for uh, creating their uh, village. It is mainly used uh, by uh, Nativity Creeps creator to simulate uh, mountains. It is a craft paper uh, painted in uh, brown, black and green that can easily wrap some uh, of the um, panels, of the styrofoam panels and simulate very well some uh, mountains. Very useful and it is uh, a pity that uh, you can't find it uh, anywhere else uh, that in France, uh, Italy, maybe some other country in Europe. Uh, and by the way, if I can be absolutely wrong, so if you know that uh, also uh, other marketplaces or other countries sell it, please let me know in the comments uh, down below. This said, I will use this paper to wrap it around my uh, waterfall, but not uh, now. It was just uh, uh, an, a little introduction to let you know that uh, I know that the waterfall isn't finished, isn't looking very well right now, but I will use this paper uh, sometime later. But first I have to complete the track supports. I will probably need some kind of a bridge here before adding the two final uh, sections. This because I don't think that the tracks need to be uh, modified in any way from now on. The track layout is the final track layout. So I will need to secure, to glue each of the support section to the main panels before preparing the supports for the ballast. This means that I will have to uh, remove the tracks from the supports prepare the supports, replace the tracks, secure the tracks to the support. Then I will start adding some aids around, some levels to the 
village and it was time. For the bridge I needed to create and place uh, under the tracks uh, along this uh, section here, I will use a styrofoam panel. I will use this kind of styrofoam panel. It has a thickness of 9 millimeters, but it's not an expanded styrofoam panel. It is an extruded styrofoam panel. With just 9 millimeters of thickness, all expanded styrofoam panels will be too fragile and break easily. The difference between expanded styrofoam panel and extruded styrofoam panel. This is very fragile, even at 3 cm of thickness. This is very solid already at 9 cm of thickness. Uh, I will use this panel and maybe, maybe I don't know yet, some uh, popsicles to make the pillars or to support the pillars. Uh, I have just some ideas at the moment and the main pillars will probably be made from uh, expanded styrofoam. Uh, let me do it then I will have a little update. I am sorry because I've made something I shouldn't have done. After cutting and positioning the last two support sections here and there, I needed to build the famous bridge. But you can clearly see that this section of tracks isn't horizontal. And in real life, uh, bridges are built only on an horizontal surface, only on a perfectly flat surface. Like uh, for our stone bridge back there. Otherwise, it will engage displacements that will cause the bridge to fall, that will cause the crushing of the bridge. But for my little Christmas village, I had no other choice than to uh, make a bridge having a difference of 8. And here is my little bridge. I ended up making it using only uh, styrofoam. Extruded the styrofoam for the main uh, platform, as I told you before, and uh, expand the styrofoam for the pillars and the two support beams. It has a width of uh, uh, 6.5 uh, uh, centimeters, the same uh, width uh, uh, of the uh, support sections, and it has a length of uh, 32 centimeters. Uh, let me just remove uh, the four pins I've used to maintain in place uh, uh, the pillars uh, while uh, the glue was drying. There. And uh, I will uh, put it where it belongs. I just need to decide if I will paint it uh, uh, all in brown, all in shades of browns. Uh, as uh, will happen for a completely uh, wood uh, bridge or if at least uh, uh, the main platform will be painted uh, uh, concrete grey but I don't think the historical period is uh, quite there uh, wood bridges yes concrete and steel bridges uh, not yet there okay let me have it put in place. Just a moment. The camera is, uh, isn't quite there. Okay. And here we have uh, our bridge, our little bridge, in uh, its correct position. Voila. Now I will start uh, securing uh, 
the support sections to the uh, main panels uh, using only skewers or maybe a combination of uh, skewers and uh, glue. Then I will uh, need to use uh, this uh, paper tape, it's just a paper tape, uh, to cover all the openings uh, in the support uh, sections. Otherwise, when I will start uh, ballasting uh, the tracks, the ballast will fall through the openings. And I don't want it. Then I will uh, secure the tracks to the support section, and so on. person, I saved you from watching the entire adjustments of both the support sections and the tracks. Just two straight tracks still need to be fixed, but first I will have to paint my little bridge. As I told you ages ago, some of the multitude of the tasks I started will soon be completed, but for your joy I will kick off some new ones. So in my next video, I will dive into the building of the levels, or the floors, if you prefer. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.